I'm not calling you old, but when did you get that? Back in 1983. I wasn't even alive then. What year were you born? Let me guess. 04. You better guess right. 1993. Are you how old are you? Let me guess. 28. 30. I'm a kid guessing the year I was born. I'll fill you in on how this goes. <laughs> guess um, 1998. Guess when I was born. The we, year I, I was, born. was born. Shut up. Of course you could guess. You're like you're 28. You were born in 94. No. Not 90. 90. No. I feel like 20. 20. My bet's on that. Okay. Guess when my wife. What year my wife was born? Is she younger than you or older? I'm telling you that. I just, that I bet she's the fun. 97. I wish that she's younger. <clears throat> I want to say she's older. Not Am I weird? Ninety-six. 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 Nin
Not. Oh. <laughs> Not even close. Is it close to all of them in the world? Silence says a lot. I'm taking that as a yes. Not even close. I'm asking him, not you, thank you. Hey. January 13th, Thursday. That is a Polyatomic Island quiz. Listen to me. I'm still looking for Just Polyatomic Island. Yes. Do we have one for Abby? You will not. So let's have a conversation. I don't think labs this Friday. I don't know if I'll be here. I don't know what time I'll be here Thursday. If not, I don't care to take it early. Okay. Or not even. What are you doing Thursday? What's that going on? Well, you won't be here on Tuesday. Well, she's going to the science fair. Yeah. She's going to Mullins. I got that. I also won't be here Thursday or Friday. I don't think I'll be here Thursday. I think I have to leave. All right, so the 14th, that Friday, is a professional meeting day because Mr. Hall and my coworkers, we need a professional meeting day so that we can have meetings because, you know, I, meetings are important. Gosh, I got to have meetings. Well, so I'm about meeting that out right now. Uh, killed my plans. I was going to make this the quiz on next Friday. So, this Friday, let's have a conversation. Everybody's going to start getting really excited, especially because the Winter Weathery Advisory last period turned from an advisory to a warning, Ooh. which means snow is coming. Oh, yeah. So, the Winter Weather uh, Warning is coming. It right now has it predicted for us to get four to eight inches of snow. Yeah. Oh now, let's have a conversation so that you have some common sense. Everybody Use safe. this. Yes. Can I play the hazard light game? No. <laughs> what fun are you? One that I'm not attending your funeral. <laughs> so, be very tasteful. listen. Everybody's going to go, well, you know how I went on Monday. It's going to be all that snow. And you can do it. Again, that's why we're factoring some stuff here, okay? You're going to factor in a lot of stuff. First off, you got to factor in temperature. you also got to factor in how the ground is, how the roads are. This ground's pretty snowy right here. Third, how much snow you're looking. So first, when you look at the ground, what had happened all weekend before that snow came? Rain. Rain. Like crazy. So, with that much rain, and the temperature wasn't really low. It was low, but it wasn't super low. What happened is that snow that was falling, literally the snowflakes absorbed energy from the rain that was saturated into the ground, which means the snowflakes melted and it could not freeze until way towards the end. And that's why all of us are looking and saying, that's it? Four to seven inches? I still see my grass. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like so, just like me. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> so what happened with it is that's why that took place. So I'm going to give you some information. Temperature-wise. You're looking at the high on Thursday, it's 38 degrees. Mm, let's go that on. means the hottest it will get on Thursday is 38 degrees. What's the low? The low is 16 degrees. Oh boy. Now I that's for Thursday. Seven. So, what's Friday? Around 2 o'clock on Thursday, the temperatures are going to start going down. And it's all going to play into when the snow hits and how it hits, how long it takes. This is what I've got a feeling looking at what's being predicted, how it's going to go. Is you might end up with some that are predict they're saying it's going to come in the afternoon. So you got school tomorrow. Sorry, you're stuck with my ugly mug. You get after it. I miss the ugly mugs. I wish they would have like gave one to everybody. Because I wanted one so bad. Did they even keep doing that? Like I didn't hear anything. I, I totally thought she was leaving something up. I would miss your ugly bug too. Oh, that's if okay. we weren't yeah. here at school. <laughs> well, her saying that. There we go, Phyllis. I would miss every ugly bug. I'll cry myself to sleep now. <laughs> no, 
All right, so I think afternoon we'll start seeing some snow. I think the majority of it's going to come in the night when the temperatures are low. So I say you're probably going to have a three hour delay. Yeah. Chances Tomorrow? are you may not have school. Let's go. Tomorrow or Friday? Tomorrow. Friday. Okay. Tomorrow you're going to have school regular. Everything will be regular. I got a feeling you probably would be looking at three hour delay. Hate to interrupt class, but I want to make this announcement in case before well, anything happens and I don't get it made. This concerns tomorrow. <laughs> it is the forecast of an early snow tomorrow, Thursday, January 6th, Wyoming County Schools will dismiss early. What did I tell you? I called it, Kevin! I called it, Kevin! I bet you're a good lawyer. <laughs> I'm a real good lawyer. No, uh, literally, Mr. Blackwell, we would never get a delay. We would sit, I would watch the TV, and it's like everywhere all around us closed, and it's like... That's cool. Please? But Miss Howe loves us. <laughs> but Miss Is the snow not on the road? Oh, it, it, it's out there. Yeah, we already had We already had five. And that's exactly what it was. Put the chains on the buses, go get them. We had school. I mean, it, we'd get a two hour delay every once in a while. Every now and again, we'd have a huge snow that's canceled. But you see, I'm going to tell you right now, anymore, it's like, hey, snow's coming. We're going to. Get your bread We're going to have an early release tomorrow. But listen. What are doing tomorrow? Morning on. Wait, no, it, it'd be evening, wouldn't it? No, she said, she said morning. morning. You're thinking of three hour delay and three hour release. Yeah, if it's a three hour delay Friday, Friday but listen. then evening. Oh, yeah. so there you go, anyway. <laughs> the most important thing is, was that I called it. Didn't I know? I thought we were going to see you tomorrow. Yeah. And then another quick Friday. I guess we'll see you on Monday. I'll see you yeah. If we can even come back Monday, alright? <laughs> I am so flabbergasted. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Either way, if you have school on Friday, I will not be here. They even want to cancel school over the weekend. Is Mary going to be here? No. Uh, I got a different sub. Actually, I've never even met this sub. Mary was subbing at Wyoming East as a secretary Ooh. and met her and Ooh. then we was trying to find a sub. I couldn't find somebody and she was like, oh, you should message this one. She's like, no, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. Message her without even knowing her. So hopefully it goes good. Uh, her name is Courtney Tilly. If any of y'all know her? I know her. She's always a Tilly's. Okay, but she'll be here. Uh, I'll have work left for you. Be respectful. Be nice. Yada yada. If you do not have school, I will see you Monday. If you do have school, I'll see you Monday. Either way, I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> so I gotta meet with my lawyer. It was so perfect. It was. It was great. You know what? I just I'm gonna have to stop saying stuff because. The funny thing yeah, is, yeah. if you if you look, I think you can find it too on YouTube. Is I had a day to where everybody was going on when COVID first came out. Everyone's like, "Ah, oh, they shut the schools down. We shut the schools down." I stood up. I said, "Hush." I can guarantee you what though. We're not going to shut the schools down because of some sickness. <laughs> the next day, little did you know, school shut down, and we didn't come back for another year. <laughs> I was like, man, shut my mouth. <laughs> Alright. Well, so, isn't this just a job? Let's get to business. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get sussy.
So, I want to introduce you to one of my good friends. He is one of my favorite Lua structures. Sodium chloride. He is, that, no, that's, that's, Lua structures are only made from covalent bonds, not iron bonds. We'll get there. So, uh, well, you know what the sucky thing is? This means tomorrow you don't get to learn. Like, this would have been perfect because tomorrow was going to learn in chemistry why we use salt on the roads. So, well, I heard it in I mean, we could so. learn that today. Yeah, we could do this. My good friend Sulfate. Now, is Sulfate a nice guy? Sulfate yeah. is not a nice guy at all. Oh. Is he involved with the world of trouble? The two is the charge. Sulfate is one of your polyatomic ions. Now, Sulfate is a doozy of a problem. Yes. A doozy. A doozy. A doozy. A doozy. So, you follow the rules, but then there's something that's going to happen. Uh -oh. And this is the perfect example that brings it in. Is this a rule? Stability. Always think stability. We're trying to be as stable as pro uh, possible. So step one, find the center atom. What's the center? Probably S. Sulfur. Sulfur is our center. Now, besides sulfur being the center, there's four oxygen. There's four oxygen, so we need how many bonds? Four. Four. So we draw out four. So it's already got eight. Four bones. <laughs> tomorrow's a no bones day. No, no, tomorrow's, a, tomorrow's a bones day. No. Yeah, tomorrow's a bones day. So we got oxygen connected here. Now here's the thing. Step three. Give everything a full octet. So you all already learned, I think you, you two did, I think you said it. Sulfur has four bonds, so it has eight, so it has a full octet. Good. So it has a full octet, so I don't need to add anything there. Andrew brought up a good point. Sulfur is a rule breaker. Just because sulfur will, can break the rules, doesn't mean he has to. Don't break the rules unless you need to. You got it? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So, all these oxygens, every one of them have a single bond, which means they have two electrons. So they need six. So they want eight, which means they need six. Yeah. So we're going to give them six. Why are you so aggressive about it? Because they really this. need it. <laughs> this is the time of the year that like, my stress level goes through the roof. Hey, don't I, like, I, I, I literally will not go see my doctor right now because I know my blood pressure would be through the roof. And they would be wanting to put me on medication instead of telling me that everything is good. I get frustrated whenever I don't get to see you all. Yeah. I get frustrated too whenever I don't get to see you. I get frustrated when I walk. It's not that I don't want to see you. I'm just happy to not be here. So. Now we count up, we gotta figure out how many electrons we got to show. So we got sulfur. We got a few. We got oxygen. Sulfur. How many sulfurs we got? Six. One. One. Oh, there was one sulfur, but there. How many Bennett's electrons? Six. Six. So six. six. One times six. Uh, six. Seven. Six. Huh. <laughs> I won nine. Yeah, I will tell you this. I had one of my freshmen. I think it was one of my freshmen. Or as a sophomore. No, I'm a sophomore. I was a sophomore. Had, yeah, it was a sophomore. I remember now. I looked and said, uh, are you telling me that your kids really need to go uh, the 2 times 6 is 12 in chemistry? I'm like, yeah. So if you couldn't do that, you're in trouble? I'm like, yeah. I guess he's in trouble. So I can't wait for that kid because he's looking at this stuff on the board and saying, hmm, well, that's simple. <laughs> Can't wait to have them next year. How many oxygens? Four. It's four times six. Four times six? Why'd you get six? How do you know the sixth way that's a little In the sixteenth column. Sixteenth column. So four times six is? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Now what else we got to do here? Add, Add, Add ten. And there's a charge. So six plus twenty-four? Thirty. Alright. And then the yeah. charge. What about the charge? You gotta add it. Because it's negative. You gotta add it. 
It's yes. negative, so we got to add it. Beautiful. Yeah, 32. So 30 plus 2 is 32. You will destroy the SAT. I hope so. They're putting us in Khan Academy. Yeah, what are they doing about? What's going on with that? We are doing this so we can prepare young minds for our academic championship. So we will win. So they help the juniors now, but they let the SAT destroy us last year. Oh, yeah. No, 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 my friend. Oh, no, they just looked at our sports from last year and they're like, man. We need to get more on this. Let's hope the next ones, not the ones that are here right now. Because, yeah, they're going to college. They don't need it. Yeah, yeah we, you don't need it. I'm going to get education. Hey, 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 hey. Well, well, Mr. Hall's here well, helping well, you now. See? I'm going to get well, education. I'm going to go yeah. big. 32. How many electrons you going to show? 32. 32. How many must you show? 32. Four. 32. You know what? I'm perfect. Call your mom. At least four. Do it. 304-682-8488. I do remember that. Please don't write that down. <laughs> There's some eights in there. What was that? 8488. 8488. <laughs> now we have Levi now, and Mom's number. Now we already have 32. That's my home number. Doesn't matter. I can still call your mom. You want a cell number, too? Yes. Why not? 894 7071. Alright, so let's count up. How many was y'all? Everybody get 32. Did Mr. Hall need to count them? Yeah. I, got I mean, one. maybe for Levi. There's 30, right? Yep. I can't count. I wasn't making work with him. I'm guessing. You can't count past four. Oh, no, wait. So I'm sure I'm 32. I need to do anything. <laughs> Is it better not? I need to show the charge. You need to show the charge. I need to show charge. I like to show charge. Show us all have a conversation, okay? Because I, I put this in first period video, so I will put it in a period video so that you feel good about yourself. We're special. Hi, John. Many of you think that Mr. Hall is smart. I appreciate that. You're so nice, so kind. Well, Wonderful people. So now you'll see Mr. Hall make mistake yesterday. We covered the mistake okay. yesterday. But I want to make sure everybody understands. First, there's from the pearl. When, when checking charge. You used the checking charge. Checking charge. It's simple. It's in purple. So it's important. First, you must know when checking charge. You write it in blue. No. Bonds. Purple is just kind of a shade of blue. Just yeah, a red. Count as one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the first thing we must remember. The bond will count as one. I did think. Bond. Two. Now, number two. Two electrons. Ah, 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 ah. When calculating. Don't use a calculator. <laughs> use the periodic table first. I'm hungry, bro. bro. First number. Here's from the periodic, periodic table. table. Is there anything edible in the periodic table? Uh, There's a banana right there. <laughs> 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 it's not on the periodic table. <laughs> There's a banana right there. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Wow, that's crazy. First number from periodic table. Grab the banana. No. From so the main electrons that they have from the periodic table. So whatever column they're in, that's the number of main electrons. Second. How many shown? Number is shown. Valence electron. Laugh it all the way. Please stop. Sean. I'm going to get Kevin copyright strike on his YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> DMCA strike, let's go. And that's the order in how you're going to calculate this out. So first number comes from the periodic table, then you subtract what's being so shown. Rules Yesterday, the Mr. Hall made a mistake, told you backwards. Yeah. Mr. Hall's brain was still fried from break. It's okay. It's Happens. My hamster got on the wheel, we got spin and spray this WD-40, we're good. Did you WD-40. Oh my god! Sorry, Sorry. 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 Sor
said. I did it in. I pulled the marker up before. Turn. Turn. That's what you gotta tell I think you need to put some more WD-40 on that hamster wheel. The valley's electrons for the periodic table is six. You're supposed to put the WD-40 on the wheel of the hamster? So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's look at the oxygen. How many valence electrons? Seven. Four oxygen. Seven. Oh, valence. Seven. What's the first on the one? What's the side. first number? Six. Where's the first number come oh, from? Six. Tell me. Can a brother bar? Where does it come from? <laughs> the periodic table. Thank you. Yes. Six. Six. It's the number. Yeah. For oxygen. I thought you'd already wrote Six. it. Six. I wasn't looking. I'm sorry. The number for sulfur is Subtract from that how many has been shown? Seven. 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 How did you get seven? Because, because I counted one. And the bonds count one. Bond counts as one. Yeah. <laughs> Obi-Wan. <laughs> Six minus seven. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Can't do uh, that. Fine addition. Now do me a favor. Don't work yourself to death, kids. Don't do a lot more work than you got to. They're all Isn't negative. all those oxygen the same? I think they're so. All you're telling me. Yes, they're all negative. Until we get to the so next one. You're telling me don't chase the grains. Will sulfur form? Three or four? Six. Five. Six! Thank you! Good job. So we now, hey, we plus. want this equal. So it's. <laughs> 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 no, he said, hey. And I said, hi. Hello. Hello. So. I was keeping. So we just need like double. Hello. Yeah, we got. And but then, then make it more than 32. Do we double bind the charges? Oh. Or does the charge stay the same? We have two or? questions. Let's investigate and see. Trial yeah. and error. This is why you do this in pencil. So double bind? Double bind. Double bond. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. No. I added four electrons. Wait, because I added double bond. This is weird. What about the octet? More than four of the octet. I am so proud of you. I have no idea what has happened from you in 2021 <laughs> to 2022, but I am loving it because it's like I'm from McDonald's. You're getting it. I went to McDonald's. I had a McFlurry, and now you're loving it. 
Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> the octet rule, as soon as you put that double bond in there, sulfur breaks the octet rule, so it's fine. True. But we're connected to this oxygen. Does oxygen break the octet rule? Yes. Yeah, it's no! Oxygen's place. never broke the octet rule! No, it's breaking it right now. Yeah, it is breaking. Yeah, on both sides. Erase a knot! There you go. Okay. Now it's fine. Now once you erase dots, guess what we gotta do? We gotta cross. You gotta check your charge. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm so shaking and crying right now. <laughs> now. There's still. Don't do more work than's necessary. Okay. You changed here and here, so we need to look at this oxygen, this oxygen, and sulfur. Did you do anything to these two oxygens? No. no. Don't have to recheck them. Well, we'll start at this oxygen. What's the first number and why? Six because it's from the periodic table and yeah, it's in the 16th right. column. Six because it's from the periodic table and it's in the 16th column. Everybody got that? Yes. I need to yell it a little louder. Three. No. They're showing six. Okay? They're showing six. On the oxygen with the double bond, how many are we showing? Six. Six. Three. three. Because the bonds count as what? One. One. Oh, no. So now it makes it instead of making But now it's canceled and now the charge is weird. Since we only have two negatives Yes, but we're not there yet. Okay. Okay. How many? Let's slow down. What, what does know. the bond count when we're checking chalk? One. What does the bond count for when we're checking chalk? Uno. I don't know. Uno. Oh, yeah. It's one. Yell it at me. When you're checking charge, what's the bonds count as? One. Why did you yell at me? We. I'm scared to yell because they're not yelling. <laughs> when Jack and Charles bonds count as what? One! Y'all killed me. Come on, guys. You want to try it one more time? Say one. I said one. Yes, I did. Let's use our big boy voices. Use your lungs. Helpful chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six! So six minus six is zero. So does that oxygen have a charge? No. Question to you. That oxygen is just like that oxygen. So I don't have no charge. So no charge here either. Because it's six minus six. Well, what about these oxygens here? What? They still have them. They're still the same. They're still the same. We ain't done nothing. But what about sulfur? It's different. We had a bond. Okay. What's the first number? Six. Six. <laughs> then there's six. And that one's also zero, so it's still two. Minus six. 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 So it's, it's no charge. Zero. So there's no charge on the salt. Oh, man. Well, hot dog. Oh, oh man. man. It's right here's why I love sulfate. So we're back in. I thought you said. You know what we just did? I thought you said it was a bad guy. The next state. That's we, crazy. So is this it? I love everybody. You tell me. We done? I know, we're not done. Okay. Wow. Right. You got to you got to show all the other possibilities you could have done. The no. Lewis structure. I'm so proud of you. I'm so uh, proud. You shouldn't be crying. Because uh, while you're up there, the whole Lewis structure me. includes the resident structure. So this is like the worst comedy show ever. ever. But yeah. You, know. you thought you right. signed up for comedy? <laughs> no, nah, I, I misread the it's word. It's the wrong YouTube channel. Man. I misread the word. A mistake, Kim. We got a resonance structure. Yeah. Scary. I have a question, Mr. Hall. No. Yeah. Will you there ever be a situation where it's like the bottom one and the one on the right? Like, how many of these are there going to be? Or is there no, those double bonds point? are going to be separate as far as they yeah. possibly can. They're not going to sit next to each other. It's symmetrical. That's the reason, right? Symmetry is important, as you have said. Okay. So, so let's draw it back up. I'm drawing it back. Man, I had hiccups on Sunday night. I could not get rid of this thing. I had my breath. I did the whole upside down drinking water thing. That's I had people try to scare me. It was a habit. You know what works for me every time? I hold my breath, but I swallow air three times. It's kind of difficult, but it works. Doctors hate this one easy trick. Take your Athens, Brady Corn. Take it, Painter, and Samantha Bailey to the office. Yes, don't do more work than what is necessary, though. Look at here. Double bonds don't have the charge. Single bonds, got them. Let's go. Yeah. And now we're finished. Bada boom.
Bada bing. You made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As everybody feel, put the salt in. Hey, give me I about four love more. sulfate because it checks you mentally. It lets me know you know what's going on. What is sulfate? Sulfate's kind of a vibe check. SO4 2 minus. Yes, but what does it do? What, 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 what is what is? Can I blow something up with it? Uh, no. If you stick two hydrogens on it, then you get uh, sulfuric acid. It's the strongest of the seven strong acids. Thank you for that information. Yeah. Now you're going acid. So, now you can probably buy it. Well, listen, I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I'm definitely not going to see you on Friday. This is sad. It's breaking my heart. This is breaking my heart. This is ridiculous. Can you sing us a song about how it's breaking? My heart. My achy heart. Can you sing us a song? And maybe how you're giving all the bad news. I'm feeling very bright, jolly. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to look at you and tell you. On Monday, when you see me, I'm going to finish these little structures up. Monday, I'm going to be done. Okay? Friday, I'll probably have a little structure practice sheet left for you. So do I. You'll have that. Oh, I just popped them up. Oh, you're welcome. If you have school Friday. If not, have a wonderful extended weekend. The R and R time. We'll see you Monday where we rock and roll. Thursday, we'll be that polyton column, please. They changed the life. Along with that, for those of you that are going to the science fair, best of luck. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah? I'll find out in a couple days. Maybe. Don't know. We won't have a full day tomorrow. We might just have a Good sesh. I literally took a picture and sent it to all of you on Remind. Whoa. Everything that's highlighted, that is fair game for the quiz. Remember, there's only 30. This table and this table are the same. Just this table, alphabet water based off name, and this table, alphabet water based off of the chemical formula. Use the right table because you'll see a little pattern. A little pattern. No, it doesn't matter as long as you know. If I look at you and I say chlorine, I don't know what that is. Not I. C L O R I N E. Yeah, that's what I thought. Negative. Which breaks up a Very good point. Remember. This is where you're starting to see why you have to make sure the second letter in the element symbol is lowercase. That's an L, not an I. If you give me CIO3, you're wrong. Chow. Don't mess up on your charges. You have to memorize the charges. It's straight up easy. You know what will be on it. So you will be taking it. But you're watching a little polyatomic No. <laughs> so we can't we can't ask her for help. You can ask her all you want. She she don't she doesn't know what we're talking about. She'll she'll tell you she'll do more damage than help. Oh. On Friday, after you're done with your quiz, I have remember those really hard mode conversion problems I pri uh, promised you? I forgot how to do those already. I have five of those left for you. You want to know why? It's a good wake-up call. You'll have fun. I'm coming back. <laughs> you John, have you to be able to do a mold conversion. <laughs> if you cannot do a mold conversion, your geometry is going to kick your teeth in. He's not threatening me. I'm not threatening you. I'm not threatening you. I just got my braces on. Which is Friday. You have practice. I'm going to get curb stomped by the store. We don't have school. Thursday. Thursday. You're leaving Thursday? I'm leaving Wednesday morning. So, Wednesday. My plane leaves at like, I want to say... Our plane's supposed to depart at like 6.15. I've never flew with Oh. No, it's horrible. It's just a really stupid. So, 
Two things. I'm just nervous. I want to make sure my butt fits in the seat. Yeah, it will. Trust me. I'm whenever you go, first class. Whenever you go to, uh, we didn't think you were. Whenever you go to Maine, you bring me, you bring me like a live lobster. Like I want to bring you like a couple. Hey, actually, yeah. interesting fact is, let's if you want live lobsters from Maine, you can actually order them. Well, that was shipped up to you. Let's boil them. I need, I need, I need four or five fry. I need four or five a live lobsters. And I need you to keep that cabinet unlocked. <laughs> so you're going to kill the lobsters? No, no, no. no. The lobsters are my pets. <laughs> Split them up between me and you. I was going to order today. I can't remember. Was it pizza mango? Hey, what did y'all decide? Pizza mango yes. or pizza box? mango? Pizza mango, right? Yes. Okay, I got one. Yeah, the mustard. Truck. Tomorrow sounds like a good day to have fun. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The farewell party. Yeah, farewell party. Little John party. We would listen. Let's have a goodbye more. John party. I'm sorry, I was gonna do it today, and I was like. Dude, I do not remember if that's pizza mingo or foxes. Sounds like me. It is pizza mingo. I made it up. We're good now. So listen, tomorrow will be the last day. Uh, for those of you that... I have, yeah, I got some signs for peeps in here. Uh, I still want y'all to message me. I did not put this on live grades, but I want you all to message me when you're there. I want to know how many people we're competing against. Am I going to get the free quiz? Will you be oh, watching? Will you be watching? So I get to you before the competition starts? Yeah, answer me. Hey, Amelia. Amelia, you were late for playing. I'm late for anything. Speaking of which, it says either 8.30 That's even worse. It doesn't actually start till 10. Is it okay if I show up at 9? Because I mean, I only go to the start when it's just 7.00 or 4.00 on table and wait for this. If I was going, I'd be there. You're not really. I would literally be there. And I would help him get stuff done. Mr. Hall, I got the quizzes. I did the experiment. I couldn't be here. I know you. I'm sorry, but I can't. It doesn't even matter. You're going over there. You got an A. Oh no! no. You do not have an A here? I have a B. There's no way. Did you I take have, a quiz? I have a zero on a quiz. Quiz four. I never, I've never done it. <laughs> well, let's quiz four. Wow. Chemistry. Okay. I also have a B. Will you be watching the first round yeah. playoff games while you're in my No, I'll be coming back Saturday. In, in, uh, in AP Bio, <laughs> I have a B in that too because there's two quizzes out of them. Oh. When do the Steelers play? Uh, Sunday night. We play the Chiefs too. Think they'll upset the Chiefs? Nope, but I'm open. That's the Tigers. Report to Mr. Right. Bell. Turn. That's the Tigers. I think there's an upset. <laughs> I promise you there is. <laughs> Somebody. I'm, I'm so mad. Yeah, we're gonna be upset because he's gonna lose. Mr. Hall. Yeah. Cooper Cup, 18 yards away from the record. Oh, I know. And Justin Jefferson almost broke the record. Yeah, TJ Watt tied the record. Yeah, he, he got broke. the sack record and got his sack crushed in the same play. <laughs> I thought he was hurt. I thought he was hurt. And he just started bobbling off. He was just grabbing himself. Oh, okay. He just did a record. Sack crushed. All right, so, ladies and gents, there's some information for you. I will be back on Tuesday. So I wanted to send that message out there to make sure, because I told my fifth period. When I told my fifth period about what had happened the first period, they all thought it was funny, so that's going to start rumors. And I did not want any rumors going around, because then you know what it was going to be like. Kids were going to start spreading rumors, and all the teachers would start believing I'm leaving, and then it would be a man system. And then everybody would be like, are you leaving? Where are you going? Why are you going? What, what's going on? And, Spend it on a second. Bye, so, uh, I am not leaving. If I was leaving Westside, the administration would know, and then all of you. Besides that, he is, no he is leaving Westside. He's coming to East with me. No. Guys, listen. Let's just John, start. I'm only going to be at East on the 22nd, and then I'm starting a private. I told program. you. But here, from from here, but it's in, it's located in Georgia, but it's online. I can graduate early. Um, 
so I can work from so I can do work. You will be missed, y'all. Yes. Yes. Hey, God. Uh, all right. <laughs> so let's get to the chemistry. <laughs> you know I'm looking. You have it. All right, so we've spent a lot of time on looking at Lewis structures. I'm Lewis structure to death. If you don't know how to do a Lewis structure now, you should come see me during the lunch. What's a Lewis structure? Yeah. What's a resonance structure? Come see me during lunch. This lunch? No, it's eight period. Come see me then. So, there's something that I introduced to you guys and I told you we'd get into it, but now we're really going to find ourselves looking at it. Is in covalent bonds, they break down into two differences. Covalent bronze can be non polar. What? Or polar. Or polar. Why is non polar first? What's that one person on Looney Tunes, the skunk? Pepe Le Pew? Pepe Le Pew? He got canceled, bro. Yeah. Why? Because he... He likes his taxes. Hello, Mr. Hall. What a wonderful day it's been. We got some notebook paper or something. In a minute. Hey, Mr. Hall, you should swap the quiz to Wednesday so that way science fair people can just miss it. No. Hey, Mr. Hall, if you do that, I can guarantee the revolution. Hey, so not polar program. So the differences is going to boil down. Remember that electronegativity we talked about. Hopefully, you know what electronegativity is. Anybody know what electronegativity is? Yeah, it's the attraction. That's that Bill Adams. Atoms by another atom. I mean, pull that other atoms have on another atom's electrons. I scratch and pull. I'd probably yeah. give you eight points out of that. Hey, so, it's all based off of the difference in electronegativity. So, whenever we're looking at a nonpolar, <laughs> so like it's at the equator. <laughs> <laughs> so not polar. And these differences, they they are argued, and you get different ranges, but they set around this. So for a non-polar covalent bond, the difference in electronegativity is zero to zero point four. Whoa. No, but that's the thing. Why? There's an even sharing of those electrons. For what? Nanometers. Difference in electronegativity. So then you got the polar. <laughs> covalent bonds, and it's polar covalent bonds. They are from a range of 0 0.5. To 0 0.10. I like to cut it off about 1.3. 1.3? Uh, that's a big one. Uh, 0. 0.3. That would be 1.3. Yeah. So pretty much a great example of a non-polar covalent bond so, is your diatomics. Sodium chloride. So something like nitrogen. I know what many of you are thinking right now. Uh, Mr. Hall, yes, the name of an enemy, so that's just one of them. Oh, Mr. Sure Hall's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, that was liquid. funny. Remember Mr. Hall said that little trick you keep in your back pockets is diatomics, always. And if you say the word, then it's by itself, it exists, bonded to itself. So nitrogen is N2. Whoa. Which, if you do a little structure for it, which I know we've done a little structure for this. Did we? If this was Thursday, I wasn't here. And that right there is a little structure. For it. That's crazy. I know I just jumped to the finished product. I told you, I'm little structured out right now. Fair enough. So, when you look here, this is one of the most stable bonds in the world. And what you're seeing is this equal sharing. 
What's the electronegativity value for nitrogen? Scary. I don't know. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Scary you down. I can't see that. Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, Get out some periodic table. Three. It's three. Three. So, three minus three equals zero. zero. There we go. Yeah. We will destroy it the SAT. Yeah. John, why aren't you taking notes? Take notes. Oh, I got to take a quiz on this. I'll remember it. Do you remember I was on the ACT? Yeah, I did. Congratulations. Thank you. What you got, John? Thirty-one. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. I am worried if. Miss Tower does what she's done before. She normally starts with nomenclature, so. Oh no. You'll be okay. You'll catch on real fast. I'll make you. So, that right there is an equal sharing. So, what we got with the nonpolar is equal sharing. Equality. Non segregation. Now, with polar, this is where we find bullies. Oh, segregation. No. Bobby, what are you doing? You're about to pull shit. You know, like, you know, you're in kindergarten and you bring your, you know, your favorite wrestlers to play with your friends, and then there's a friend of yours that's a bully, and he demands that you let him play with the toy, and it's like, it's my turn, and you played with it for 15 minutes, and he reaches over and rips its head and arm off. You know, <laughs> that's that's like a mutilation. <laughs> also, yeah. I just want to say that Hick accent came up because he said wrestlers. Well, I guess you didn't know it. I'm from oh, yeah. Southern West. I know. Um, I'm just saying. I so does that mean that the polar covalent bonds are the sandcastle kickers? Yes. They have a sandcastle kicker in there somewhere. The best analogy that can be given for a polar bond is an abusive relationship. Oh my gosh. Just because that just sticks out in here. Is there a way to... Is there a, <coughs> so a great example of this is something we all need. I said I wanted a toaster rookie. Why did I say divorce? Water. That's a lot more wholesome than death. Now, hydrogen monoxide. H2O. You do the Lewis drugs for H2O. <laughs> it's got the agonals at bent, bent water. Crooked water. So whenever we do this, what you'll find out is in that shape there, there's the Lewis structure finished product for of water is looking at the difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen and the oxygen. Now the rule for whenever you're finding out the difference, always take the biggest number, the biggest electronegativity between the two atoms first, so you always end up with a positive number. Okay, makes life a lot simpler. What's the electronegativity for water? Uh, zero. Look at the periodic table! Where's... I can't... Is it adding or subtracting? You subtract. Well, then it's negative. There's two of them. Or do you just subtract one? No, no, no. We're just looking at this bar. Oh, that one. 0.5. What? Really? Yes. What's the electronic KP value for oxygen? 3.5. 3.5. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You worded oh, that weird. I'm sorry, I did not hear it. You said for this bond. You said for the whole thing. Yeah. I'm you said for each of Oh, you I said for the water. water. <laughs> put them on. Put them on. All right. Well, why my fish back What's the electronegative value for uh, hydrogen? 2.1. 2.1. <laughs> so 3.5 minus 2.1. That's 1.4. Yep. Can you go and subtract 2.1 again? No. Oh. Because this is for talking to the zero time. Now, I want to share something to you. I use this as a very good representation. You say 1.4, uh, Mr. Hall. Yeah, here's the problem. Uh oh. He oh, can't no. be a bull. He's not a How do you, you remember, Mr. Hall, we always build on top of what we learn. This is C class? Yes. Sure. How do you determine if you have an ionic or a covalent bond? I forgot. 
I really did for a while. It's been... Hey, don't worry. We ain't moving on until you can get it. I was in here one day last week. Said I, have been on, I have been on break from this class for three weeks. I do not know. Sure. Christmas break. Let's we'll track him on You said ionic or covalent? How do you determine whether it's an ionic or covalent ball? The we just say that we'll never have to do another quiz ever again. The elements of oh, no, the quizzes are still covered. I just think we're covering the material. That's not right. Is it? Is it <laughs> I know, I'm so I'm cruel, there. right? Is it, is oh, I'm looking for it. I found say it. it again. How do you determine whether it's an ionic or covalent bond? Is it, is it the element it's made of? Yeah. Oh, gosh, probably. Oh. If it has a diatomic. Yeah. No, that's right. Oh, Lordy mercy, I'm losing. No polars have like metal, metal. Form from the attraction from elements that have lost a game. They share. That is... Those are ionic ions for me. So that's an ion bond formation. Not what I'm looking for. Somebody said something part of it. Was it me? Who was it? I don't remember what anyone said, so I don't know why I'm asking. How do we determine whether it is a covalent or ionic bond? I think ionic. Oh my goodness. Give us a hint. There's a lot of rambling going on in this class right now. I hear a lot of different things. Ionic bonds have ions. <laughs> this is so simple. Okay. Ionic bonds are How to determine whether it's a ionic or covalent bond? I don't know. Positive or negative? One side of the periodic table to the other? Is it that staircase on thing? They both co co and bond share because they care? <laughs> I got that right. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else Attraction? Come on, man. You got it. I'm throwing my line out in the water and I don't know if there's fish around there. Covalent. Covalent. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hall. Covalent. Oh God! Their their valent shells are connected. Oh. Uh, Anon. Anon. Anonic bonds are the strongest. Let me get my notes out. Crystalline structures. Really? Listen, buddy. Is I'm looking it, through everything I got. Is it not the? We motivate you. Oh wait. First person to get it. Please motivate. Me. No, they're wrong. Motivate me. Uh, I got five bonus points in here. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm just going to raise it. And second. speak loud. Because if you look at me and say, I said that, I'm going to say, you didn't speak loud. Though. Did you hear metals, non metals? Yeah, did you hear metals, non metals? I said that. I did say that. I and you looked at me. I also said that. We, yeah, we've we all said that. Okay, metals, non metals. Ionics are metals, non metals. Okay, what's the question? Metals are not. I mean, bonus points, not, a, not enough. Somebody needs a bomb. Oh, I wasn't How to determine whether it's an ionic or covalent bomb? <laughs> hey, Siri. No. I'm being nitpicky. Um, John. No. I mean, there's non polar and polar covalent bonds. Covalents are found with two non-metal. You dare look it up, John. That's the same thing as the same. with metal and non-metal. Put it all together. Okay. Covalent bonds are formed with two non-metals, and ionic bonds are formed with a metal and a non-metal. Thank you, Drew. Can you say it a little louder? All right. Everybody, listen. This right here is 
how you determine the difference whether it is a covalent or an ionic bond. Because apparently, we have forgot this information in this room. It's been a while. I forgot. All righty. An ionic bond is a metal and a non-metal, and a covalent is two non-metals. Welcome. So, if you have a metal and a non-metal bonded together, you have an ionic bond. If you have two non-metals bonded together, covalent. Which one are the metals? How do you determine <laughs> if it's a metal or a non-metal? The staircase. The red staircase. Okay, I thought so. To the left. Non-metal. Non-metal. Non metal. Metals. Metals. I need a reminder. Iron is over here. D block is the transition metal. Okay. To the left of the staircase are the metals. To the right are the non-metals. But there is a rule breaker. Who is the rule breaker? Uh, gold. Uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen is the rule breaker. Uh, hydrogen is a non-metal. That's what's over there. What you know about that? So your range is one point four. Job? The difference in the range is one point four, right? Yeah. I don't know. So one point four. Let's talk. Yes. But hydrogen's a non-metal. Oxygen's a non-metal. What type of bond is formed between hydrogen and oxygen? A covalent. A covalent bond. But look how high the difference in the range is. So, is it a non-polar or a polar covalent? Neither. It is a polar covalent. Uh, what this means is you have the abusive person that's just a jerk in that relationship. So what they do is what are covalent bonds all about? They... Attack. They share. They share. Share what? <laughs> they share electrons. So they're sharing off these electrons. And it's all about here, you have it, you have it, you have it. Well, it's opposite when you get to a polar go Polar has the abusive person that's got the real big pull. It's all about what is theirs is theirs and what is yours is theirs. Yeah. That is not a healthy relationship. What is yours is theirs? It's me, not we. I'm going to give you a moment of some healthy relationship advice. Your relationship, their success is your success, and your success is their success. Not always. It's equal. You work together. Not always. Yes. Take up a random girl at the bar. She offers that her success <laughs> no, you're getting a ticket. Ticket? Yeah. You shouldn't be at a bar. Oh, if I was so, if I'm at a bar with pop. Which one of these, oxygen or hydrogen, has that pull on the electron the greatest? Yeah, we try Oxygen. Oxygen is our bully. Oxygen is the one that's got the greater pull on the electron. What is the electron? Uh, Probably the child. Money. <laughs> Divorce. Negatively charged self-atomic party. Negatively charged self-atomic party. We were off the mark. But you're going for the reference. So negatively charged self-atomic particle, oxygen has a greater pull on it, which means it has a greater pull, and that electron spends more time with the oxygen, which means. It's added oxygen, oxygen, extra oxygen. negative charge, Whoa. which develops something that we label polar. The oxygen is what we like to call O. What is Partially that? negative. That's a music note, brothers. <laughs> that is a Greek letter. C. That's a snake. He's believing. Pretty sure that's lowercase. C. Is for. And the hydrogen, because it has less time with the electron, forms this partial positive. Right? Man, that's oh, snaky I don't know. Nice. Yes. What does it mean when they're partial? That's a TikTok logo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. So here's what becomes interesting. Which one's TikTok? On the clock. Really sorry. 
Go. Let's Just break it down, said Lucy. Why is it blue? Let's see if it was purple. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it purple. <laughs> Mr. Al, someone once told me that the world was going to roll. <laughs> Are you the sharpest tool in the shed? No. Yeah. I look kind of dumb sometimes with my finger, my thumb, and the shape of an L on my forehead. Well, ears. I'm done. They don't stop coming. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know why you're done. You still gotta go. So, I fed to the rules. Hit the ground running sometimes. Alright. Whenever we get to the can you agree with me that there are. A bunch of water molecules in my water There's a lot. There's a lot. So up on the board, I've drawn a couple of water molecules. Now you're going to see that I've drawn them differently from what you're You what? I have lined up the hydrogen and the oxygen you what them? from different molecules. Drew them. Whatever. All right, no, all right. Is there a way to figure out how many exact water molecules you were hypothetically having that water molecule? Yes, there is. Hypothetic. You get a mass of it and you do something called mo calculation. No. Are we about to learn that? You already have. Yeah. Oh, that's mole. All right, here. That's the little thing in the ground. I lined up the hydrogen and the oxygen. Why do you think I lined up the hydrogen and the oxygen? <laughs> They're naked. <laughs> in Africa, <laughs> and they can't get cancer. They can get you can't look at me and tell me you're lost and confused, and then I turn around and you're sitting there with your phone out. I put it away. Ruck, ruck, ruck. Why did I line up the hydrogens and oxygens? Because they, they attract. Why do they attract? Because they're opposites. I'm so proud of you. I think you were guessing, but I'm so proud. My brain just kicked in. I couldn't think of any other reason. He only gets it. 2022. I knew you. I like it. I cut out the first half. Partial positive, positive, partial negatives. Partial negatives, the oxygen. Partial positive is the hydrogen. Guess what? They're attractive. This should not come as a surprise to you. Somewhere in some science class you've had, you should have heard of this. So that's why your water looks like these up. oxygens and these hydrogens line up. And guess what they do? Attract. They form surface tension. Surface tension? Water. They form one big bond. They form springs, lines, a weak connection. interaction. Oh, interaction. They form quantum entanglement. Huh? No, I think they're too big. Oh. Oh, they're water. Eyes were closed. They look really creepy. Does it matter how they're wound up? Eyes were closed. Let's see about water. I was like, what? It's just a shock. I was just trying to get it. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Boys, rain it in so you get this, okay? My eyes are on. You should have heard of this word before. Hydrogen bonding. One. Hydrogen bonding. Let's do hydrogen bond, I guess better. That's probably how you've heard it before. What what? Hydrogen bonding is this weak interaction between molecules. We label it as weak because it's not as strong as a covalent bond, but it's strong. It's the strongest of the beta wall forces. This hydrogen bonding is an interaction. Well, attraction. Between hydrogen and highly, well, no, partial. Let's do it. And partial negatives. Partial negative. Atoms in polar covalent 
Pause. This shouldn't freak you out too much. You should have heard about this. If you haven't, it's okay. You're hearing about it now. Great example of hydrogen bonds and hydrogen bonding is us. Say what? DNA. Does anybody know the structure? Double helix. The DNA is in a double helix. Why can it form a double helix? Because of hydrogen bonding. Because of hydrogen bonding throughout. It allows it to do the helix. They're doing good today. So they can attract. I'm gonna roll. How does the helix form? From hydrogen bonding. How does hydrogen bonding form? From Opposite. Partial, negatives. partial positives and partial negatives. This is what polar covalent bonds have. They have partial positive and partial negative regions. If you don't like the way that I symbolize it, there's another way to symbolize it. You do an arrow pointing to the one that has the greater pull on the electron. So you come from hydrogen and you go to oxygen. Oxygen has a greater pull on the electron, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you point towards the partial negative and at the end, you put a plus. Showing that hydrogen is partially positive, the oxygen is partially negative. This hydrogen bonding is what gives water all its special properties. Everything. Have you ever tried to take a glass and slowly pour water out of it? Yeah. What happens? It just sticks to the <laughs> side. It goes down the side and falls off. It doesn't come out where you're trying to pour it's it. Like Nothing ticks like me off more, honestly. Uh, when you use that stick, we're doing when you use the glass stirring rod on top of it. Why? Why are you using glass stirring rod? Water's attracted to the glass. Why? What's glass? Rocks, minerals, sand. sand. Sand, what's sand? Rocks, Rock. minerals. Silicon dioxide, what's silicon dioxide full of? Oxygen. Silicon dioxide. Oxygen. Silicon. Has polar bonds. Polar bonds. Which forms partial positive, partial negative regions. Because of this, water molecules, which water is? Polar. Polar. So it's attracted. To the glass. That's crazy. Is this one the surface? Polar bonds. Yes. Okay. Polar? Express. Like polar. No. Not polar. Don't like polar. Like non polar. Exactly what you just said. I don't know how. Just a different way of saying. Polar bonds like polar bonds. Nonpolar bonds like nonpolar bonds. There's something you should have learned in your biology class that uses this very simplistic idea. Cell membrane. And works so beautiful. The cell membrane, also known as the phospholipid bilayer. Where did this come from? I have no idea, but I'm loving it. It's like, out of nowhere, it's just, oh, in 2022, I'm going to let people know I'm smart. I got to sleep in Miss Cole's class today during uh, technically six period. Why did you sleep in her class? Because it's study hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why did you sleep, sleep in study hall? I did. Tell Mr. Cook you don't need to drive. Mr. Hall says you need to sleep. Okay. Rest your brain. That's your medical advice. I Mr. Hall wishes I sleep in study hall. <laughs> I just make your class go crazy. Okay. <laughs> this happens, that phospholipid bilayer uses the simple principle to keep things protected. So what you'll see is within the cells, that membrane, is a perfect example because whenever you look at it, is it polar heads and non-polar tails? Yes. Ah. 
You have not missed yet. We don't miss. Call Kirby. Call Lee Harvey Oswald, because he don't miss. <laughs> Call me Larry Bird. Call me John Wilkes. This is what the phospholipid bilayer looks like. What we have on the phospholipid bilayer is at the top these round parts. These are polar heads. So let's say this is the outside of our cell. So on the outside of the cell, something polar comes towards the cell. What's going to happen right here? It says, uh, let's, let's get you. Polar likes polar. It's not going to kick it off. It's going to suck it in. It's going to hold on to it. It's going to. But let's say that non-polar, something non-polar, right, right, comes up. It's not going to let it in. It kicks it off. Why? Does polar and non-polar mix? No. No. Have you ever looked and been like, oh my gosh, someone spilled a bunch of oil on top of water. Does oil and water mix? Come in yourself you want to know why? Because the polar and non-polar bond. Yeah? We only need a microphone for tonight. Hey, all right. And I said, okay, that's easy. So, that's it. Sweet. Thank you. But, Paula. Who said it? Nobody Shot Paula. So... Why will it not mix? Because when you look at the oil, the oil has a polar head, but it has that non-polar part. So it's not going to mix in with that water. What's water made out of? Polar bonds. You know about those. So here comes the interesting part. I have a question for you. <laughs> Mr. Al, do you know about the uh, machines that vibrate like a head super, super fast and like cause the things that should mix to mix? Like you can actually mix water and oil with water with the machine. Oh, like a mixer? Yeah. It's no, but it's like, you can't even see it vibrate, it's going yeah. so fast. Is that what we did in my blender? Might work. On road. Oh man, I needed to know this this morning. Why in the winter do we find ourselves salting roads, salting sidewalks? Because it raises the lower It lowers the freezing temperature. Possible. It lowers the freezing temperature. A freezing yeah. point, but of what? Wait. Of water. Where's Sorry? Of the rain. You still have not missed it. I'm on a roll.